My name's Kate Hyme. I'm a consultant geophysicist. We provide geophysical consulting services to engineering and mining exploration companies. I use a product from Datamine called PA Explorer, which is a geophysical processing tool essentially and display tool. PA Explorer helps me display geophysical data and interact with the data. A lot of what we work in is maps, and we look, we make maps of the of geophysical data. And PA is great because it lets me easily display that and assign lovely colour bars and all the all the sort of things that you need to have for a proper map and different types of data sets. It's very visual and it's also very fast at processing visual things so it actually opens up files quite quickly, it displays them smoothly, no big pauses. PA Explorer has made it a very, very interactive and simple way for being able to display those sections so we can see the groundwater aquifers and all, all copper deposits and say maybe drill a drill hole here to see what's going on. Because one of the big difficulties is communicating the information that I can see in the geophysical data set through to our users. In a conference paper, when you're presenting some complex, let's say a geophysical discovery, the best way to do it is just to put it up in 3D and rotate it around on the screen. And then everyone really gets fundamental understanding of the hole that just missed the ore deposit. They should have had it another 50 metres to the east or something, which doesn't quite work as well in a static format like PowerPoint. Datamine's a very large company, but I feel like I have a very personal experience with the guys and girls that manage PA Explorer. So, for example, I feel like I can call them up, ask some questions. Because it's a, a, an Australian-based team, any questions I have get answered really, really quickly. I've even had the opportunity to meet some of the software engineers as well as the product managers. For a big company to actually know the software engineers on that your particular software is pretty unusual.